Today we're talking about five mistakes that motorcycle owners make. Okay guys, so the biggest mistake everybody makes that owns a motorbike is this. Let me show you guys. This. Tire pressures, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody looks at tire pressures. I get that so much. I mean, um, I've been in the industry for probably my whole life already and um, the biggest thing I see is people get to our shop, wheels are flat, it's absolutely crazy. I mean this is, the tires on a motorbike is I think the most important thing on a motorbike. If it's not for that you can't ride, if it's not for that it, what keeps you on the road? It, it's tires guys. So first of all check your tire pressures every single time. Get yourself a cheap little tire pressure gauge or when you refill check your tire pressures. It's easy as that okay. Alright, so the second mistake people make is you might think, what is this guy doing on the ground? But let me tell you guys something. This is and can be devastating if this happens to you somewhere on the road or whatever. This is a gear lever, okay? Everybody should know that. And to all the casual riders out there that wear shoes, sneakers, whatever, tie your shoelaces. I'm going to show you something. Look at this. There's a shoelace. Look at how close that come. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. So just think about it. You're standing at a, at a traffic light. You're changing gears or whatever. You're stopping and your shoelace catches onto that or something. Uh, it's just boop and you fall over. It's a, it's a win-win situation. Just tie your shoelaces, okay? All right, guys, so third mistake that people make that I see all the time as well. When people stop their motorcycles, wherever, they don't leave their bike in gear. They just stop it in neutral. It's silly, guys. Stop your bike in first gear and do something like this so that you know that the stand can't fall backwards. Let me show you quickly. Look at this. So if you, if you come to a standstill, that's neutral. Okay, put your bike in first gear and then when it's in first gear, push it all the way to the front, put your stand up, put it down. That way your stand can't go forward and um, it's absolutely perfect. Or your stand can, can't go backwards and the bike just falls over. It's easier okay, guys, and then for the fourth thing that I see a lot of people um, don't do correctly on a motorbike is their sitting position and how they sort of their arms on the motorbike, how they hold the handlebar and um, let's start with the sitting position you don't sit all the way at the back of a motorbike okay you want to you want to tuck yourself in move all the way as as close to the front of the motorbike as possible if it's an off-road bike exactly the same and then your arms you don't want to hang your arms like this if you're holding on guys you want to keep it up straight so you can move it if you need to um, like this, there's no, there's absolutely no way of controlling your bike, holding on to it properly. If there's a impact or something, what are you going to do there? Nothing. So keep that out, keep those, um, keep those elbows up like that. Hold on firmly, not too stiff. Otherwise, you're going to get arm pump. You're going to get stressed. Just hold on to the motorbike. Let it do what it needs to do, and you can just control it, lean in, whatever. Number five on the list guys and it's very important if you are a proud motorcycle owner if you are a proud biker if you are anything that i just mentioned wash your motorbike oh i hate it when i see a dirty motorbike come on guys you need to have some pride in it wash your bike take it to a dealer if it needs a service on its scheduled times and the worst of all please lube your chain if your motorbike has a chain a drive chain it's all the way at the back somewhere on the other side on this motorbike please lube it if i see a red or brown looking chain i just wanna i don't know it's like second degree murder it's bad don't do that all right and that's about it guys um if you guys enjoy the video and you want to see more please hit that like button um, subscribe to the channel that would mean so much to me and um, that's it. Thank you guys. Peace out until the next one.